Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, this week we started a new unit. We've got uh, similar figures and today we are gonna do not similar figures but scale drawing word problems. Very similar. Um, we're gonna actually be solving these using proportions. Y'all have done proportions before in the first semester and we're gonna solve these proportions using equations which you have also done in the first semester. So hopefully this should be kind of like a review of two different units um, but it's also much, it's much simpler. There's not nearly as many things to remember. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with scale drawing word problems. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up using a proportion and we're going to solve it the same way. We're going to set it up the same way every time. In these problems, you'll be given a scale and the scale will always be what you know. So that's always going to go in this middle problem right here, the scale. On the left side, we're going to put our units of measure, and on the right side, our unknown. And we're going to solve by writing the equation and solving for the variable. So we're going to do the first one together. I've got it pre-set up. We've got our units, what we know, or our scale in the middle, and then our unknown on the right. And our unknown means that I'm given one piece of information, but not the second. So the question is, Camille drew a scale drawing of a house and it's a lot. The house is 12 inches wide in the drawing. The drawing was made to a scale of one inch is three feet. What is the actual width of the house in feet? So anytime I come across a word problem, I'm looking for this word scale. And whatever comes before or after that, if it gives me the scale, that is perfect because that is exactly what I know. And that's how I want to start my proportion. I know it says, this uh, was made to a scale of one inch is three feet. That's exactly what I'm going to put. And it doesn't matter if I put three on top or one on top, but I was going to go ahead and keep it in order. One inch is three feet. Now I've got my units. My units got to be the same. Whatever I put on top needs to be the same, all the same units. All three of these lines got to be the same. So since I started with inches on top, I'm going to write inches over here and feet on the bottom. That way I know everything on top is inches, everything on the bottom is feet. Next, I'm going to go for my unknown. Uh, this is where I'm given one other number. And in this problem, I've got 12. And 12 what? 12 inches. So I'm going to keep inches with inches. And the question is asking me, what is the actual width of the house in feet? I do not know. That's my unknown. And to solve it, I'm going to cross multiply each of these numbers and write it in an equation form. So I've got 3 times 12. Put an equal sign, and that should equal 1x, or 1 times x. I don't need to put the 1 there just because it is a 1. If it was any other number, I would put it in front of the x. Uh, I don't need to, but I'm going to do that for the video's purpose today. 3 times 12 is 36 equals 1x, <clears throat> or just x, and I've got my answer. So my answer is x equals 36 feet. The house is 36 feet wide. That easy. Number two is very similar to number one. So if you want to pause the video and try and solve it on your own, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, we are going to get going. I'm going to set up my proportion. Line, line, equal sign, line. My units go here. My scale, or what I know, always goes there. And my unknown always go on the far right. Richard drew a scale drawing of a summer camp. The scale of the drawing was one centimeter is for two meters. The sand volleyball court is eight centimeters in the drawing. How long is the actual volleyball court? Great. Find my scale. It says the scale of the drawing was one centimeter is two meters. And that's exactly what I'm going to put in my proportion. One centimeter, two meters. Centimeters got to go on top because that's what I put. Meters have to go on bottom because that's what I put. If you put two on top, then all meters would be on top. If you put one on the bottom, then all centimeters would be on the bottom. You could have done it either way. I just happened to put one on the top. Now let's look for my other number. The sand volleyball court is eight. Eight what? Eight centimeters. So centimeters with centimeters. And I'm looking for how long is the actual volleyball court in meters. We're going to cross multiply. 8 times 2, set it equal to 1x because my 1 and my x are multiplying, and solve. 
Simplify the left side, eight times two is 16 equals one X. And because this is a one right here, I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. In the next two problems, this will not be a one and there's gonna be one more step, but it should not be anything that's new to you. It's just solving equations. So my answer for this one is X equals 16 meters. The actual volleyball court is 16 meters long. Okay. Number three. I guess if you want to attempt it, you can. If you think you've got a good grasp on equations, go for it. This one is going to be just a tad different. Set up my proportion. Oh, that does not go there. What I know, or my scale, and my unknown on the right. Spencer measured a house. And Slot made a scale drawing. He used the scale seven inches is four feet. The backyard is 77 inches in the drawing. How wide is the actual yard? First thing I'm going to do is look for my scale. Scale seven inches is four feet. That's what I'm going to put. Seven inches is four feet. Inches with inches, feet with feet. Everything on top needs to be inches. Everything on the bottom needs to be feet. So the backyard is 77 inches in the drawing. So inches with inches, 77. And I'm looking for, or 77 inches, how long is the actual yard? That is my X. We do not know how many feet that's what we're looking for. So here, we do not have a one here. It's a different number. We're going to set it up the same way. Four times 77. Set it equal to seven x or seven times x we can actually do four times 77 over here so we're going to simplify it four times 77 is in fact 308 i believe it is 308 set it equal to 7x as i cannot combine a 7 and an x now this time since it's not a one i've got to get rid of the seven so we do that just like we did last a uh, couple units ago with equations. I want to get my variable by itself and move the seven to the other side because that's the only way I can get that variable by itself. Move it across the equal sign. And anytime I move something across the equal sign, we have to do the inverse. Inverse means opposite. So the opposite of seven times X is to divide by seven. These one out and 308 divided by seven gives me 44 equals x. So I just found x. The other step was having to divide. So my answer is x equals 44 feet. 44 feet. Backyard is 44 feet long. Okay. One more. One more. It's very similar to this one. You can try it on your own. Now would be a good time to pause the video. All right. Here we go. Last one. Setting it up the same, line, line, equal sign, line. We've got our scale or what we know and then our unknown. And let's look for our scale. Oh, I'll read the question first. The map of Texas shows that Austin is eight inches away from Houston. The scale of the map is two inches, represents 40 miles. How far is the actual distance between Houston and Austin. Wow, there are so many typos in this one. Distance is spelled wrong. Texas should be capitalized. Inch should say inches. Sorry for that. But anyways, doesn't change how we solve the problem. It says the scale of the map is two inches represents 40 miles. So we've got two over 40. Two what? Inches. 40 what? Miles. Inches with inches. Miles with miles. And it says that Austin is eight inches away from Houston. Is my other number. Austin is eight inches away from Houston. How far is that in actual miles? So let's set it up. 40 times eight. Set that equal to two X. And simplify, I can actually do 40 times eight. 40 times eight gives me 320. And I'll get my variable by itself by moving the two across the equal sign. 
2 is multiplying with x, so I have to divide. He's one out, and I get 160 equals x. So the answer is x equals 160 miles. Austin is 160 miles away from Houston. Well, that covers uh, everything for um, scale drawing word problems. If you have any questions, you guys can email me or make sure to come to tutorials. Uh, have a good day and good luck on the assignments.